And now to a consumer alert. Time to check the tires, people. There's actually a law on the books in 43 states requiring motorists to get new tires when the tread has worn down to a 16th of an inch. But new studies show even that may not be soon enough to change those tires. Consumer correspondent Elizabeth Leamy joins us live from Washington with more. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning, Robin. Here's the thing. When you're driving, only a tiny portion of each tire is in contact with the road at any given time. And that's why experts say it is so important that your tires be in good shape. Same car, same conditions, same speed, but watch as the bottom car shoots out of sight. The only difference between the three tests, the wear on the tires. Do you know how you can tell if it's time to get new tires? Yes. How? Stick a penny in your tire. If you can uh, see Lincoln, solid Lincoln's head, you should change your tires. The top car with brand new tires stops the fastest. The middle car with an eighth of an inch of tread stops in 300 feet. Meanwhile, the bottom car, the one with just a sixteenth of an inch, is still barreling by at 44 miles an hour. The video certainly was impressive, and we're not at all surprised by what we saw in it. It's that extra tread depth that gives you the margin of safety when the weather turns bad. Adequate tire tread is especially important in rainy conditions because it gives the water a way to escape so your car doesn't hydroplane. In 2005, rain-related accidents killed about 3,000 people. Which of these images would you rather see in your rearview mirror? The vehicle that passed the penny test or the quarter test? The nonprofit Consumer Reports just did a similar study and has also just started recommending that we use a quarter instead of a penny to check our tread. And again, here's how you do it. Put the quarter in head down into the tread. And if you can see all of Washington's head, that means it's time. The tire and rubber industry says more study is needed, and that's up to the government, Robin. From a penny to a quarter, inflation hits us yep. yet again. All right, Elizabeth, <laughs> exactly. thanks. Exactly.